Maajong hapon sa tanan. Magandang hapon sa lahat. Good afternoon everybody. This is Lewis and as you can see here on the screen I'm going to be coming to you today concerning the letter to the Commissioner of Immigration that you have to supply in your application package for the 13A probationary visa, the so-called marriage visa, or the permanent visa for people here who are married to Filipinas and living in the Philippines. On the screen here you can see the entire format and I'm going to cover a few bits of information I just want to point out to clarify for everyone who would like to use this. Um, uh, at the end of the video I will show a format that I would be more than happy to email to you. At the end of the video you'll see my email address so if you just contact me and the only thing I would ask is if you would please subscribe and like and comment on the video. We are trying to build our little channel and that would be great if you could do that. But if not, I'll email it to you anyway. It doesn't matter. Okay, so first I want to point out that when you do your letter, I don't know when you'll be watching this in the future. Currently, this is September of 2019. The Commissioner of Immigration is the Honorable Jaime H. Morente. Uh, so just be sure and double check and make sure who's actually the Commissioner of Immigration when you make your letter so that inf information will be up to date correct. Next you'll see here I've used just the generic Jonathan Doe and Josephine Doe for the names of you, the foreign national, the applicant, and your wife, the petitioner, the Philippine citizen. So you'll put your name here and your country of origin, then your wife's name as the Philippine citizen, again your wife's name as the petitioner, and yourself, the applicant. Then you'll put probationary, you're applying for the probationary the first year. After that there's another application process to convert that probationary visa to the permanent visa. I will detail that whole process when I'm doing that next year, but as for now, you use this letter for the probationary visa. I submitted this to immigration. It was accepted, no problem, so you can just copy this the way I've got it. After that, you'll want to put where you were married and when you were married, and I'd like to point out uh, something else. You'll see here on the list of requirements cited in the letter, the number of the form, the application form CGAF001 Revision 2, that is the Consolidated General Application Form that you're using to apply for this probationary visa. And after that, you'll notice down at the bottom there's a spot for your wife to sign, the petitioner, and a spot for you to sign. Here in the Philippines, uh, almost everywhere, but especially government agencies, you do hear what's called sign over printed name. You'll print your name on that line and then sign just above it. Okay. And then lastly, you can see I have a copy of the letter here with all these various bits of information highlighted that I just mentioned to personalize the letter for yourself and your wife and to be sure who the commissioner is at the current time when you make this letter and the form number because these forms do change immigration usually posts that on their website but you will want to make sure you'll receive at least one original copy from the district office you go to in your area or if you happen to go to Intramuros um, I was able to download online but um, just be sure and check the document number on the form you're using. And then lastly, you can see here's the format. I would be more than happy to email you. It'll be in Word doc dot format. I have the lines here where you'll need to fill in the information to personalize it for you. Starting at the top with the date, then for the commissioner, then the lines for you and your wife's names and what country you're coming from, when and where you were married. Okay, so thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe and like and comment. We're trying to grow our little channel. We're at 31 subscribers now, so it would be nice if you could click that button. And uh, you'll see my email address here in a moment. 
If you'd like a copy of this format, please send me an email and I will email you as soon as possible. Uh, just please be patient. Where we are living at, we don't have internet. We travel to another town to use the internet and we usually do that on the average of two to four times a month. So if you email me and you don't hear from me for a week or two, it's because I haven't used the internet yet and checked my emails. Okay, so thank you very much everybody. Glad you were able to check out the video. Take care, God bless you all, and have a great day. Bye now.